Climate change activists around the world are using this event, COP27, as a venue to protest against the use of fossil fuel as it produced too much of gas emission, which contributed to climate change. During the discussions, activists also had this to say about climate change. Protesting here for the use of uh, fossil fuel to produce energy in Pakistan and also in Asia. We are here to protest produ production of electricity by coal, oil and gas. And we are demanding that they should stop using of fossil fuel. And we are also demanding cancel the Pakistan debt and also pay reparations. And reparations should be used for the compensation and rehabilitation of the flydom victims. Flood victims. We're protesting today because big industries, big corporations and government leaders like today for example Joe Biden is landing and he's part of one of the biggest industries, one of the biggest countries of polluters. They continue to continue to continue to emit fossil fuels to extract and import and abuse the fossil fuels that we have, our natural resources and alongside it our people. Well, my message to the world leaders is to stop investing dirty energies in Africa. Africa is not a dumpster. Africa is not a place for fossil fuel extraction. Africa alone contributes less than 3% of the total global emissions, but we suffer most from the devastating impacts of climate change. We need action, and right now. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden, in his address during the COP27 summit, said U.S. is ready to take back its leadership role on fighting a warming planet. And this summer, the United States Congress passed, and I signed into law my proposal for the biggest, most important climate bill in the history of our country, the Inflation Reduction Act. It includes less than I asked for, but a significant amount, $368 billion to support clean, electric, clean electric, electricity, everything from onshore, offshore wind to, to distributed solar, zero emissions vehicles and sustainable aviation fuels, more efficient electrified buildings, cleaner industrial processes and manufacturing, climate smart agriculture and forestry and more. President Biden also apologized for the U.S. withdrawal from the Paris Climate Accord under former President Donald Trump. The COP27 summit in Egypt, which began on the 6th of November, will end this week Friday, 18th November. Thomas Sulembari, National MTV News.